risk. Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you. Well, oh, that's the uh, one o'clock update. I always forget where I'm at. But uh, hey, welcome to the September 24th, the uh, Thirsty Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. See, I can get right back on track. No problem. Uh, well, maybe there's a problem. Uh, look, welcome to the show. Uh, great to be with you. We're just going to kind of cut to the uh, chase out there. Uh, I would love to hear from you. And you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. This show is really all for you. I'm here to uh, to assist you in any way that I can provide you with, whether data and information. So one way is to give us a call. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. If you do that, go ahead and send it early. You know, Internet service providers, sometimes you send an email out early. I don't get it for 20 minutes. Uh, sometimes it's after the show. So send that to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. In our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do out there. So uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, show started on a terrific Thursday. Of course, it's September 24th out there i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show right now we got all the indices trading to the upside out here yeah all of them the dow's up 200 s p 28 nasdaq 144 out here so were there clues this morning to suggest that we should see a bounce well during the 1 p.m update i certainly gave you an end of day clue yesterday that end of day clue again if we just simply take a look at the advanced decline oscillator now the advanced decline oscillator for the new york stock exchange or for any instrument that is in this case here we're looking at the uh the new york stock exchange is going to be the difference between the uh the advanced decline line it's uh, 39 and 19 period exponential moving average so that's what we're looking at here in panel number two uh panel number three panel number two happens to be the advanced decline line out there now when that advanced decline oscillator gets below zero um, if it's below zero for two sessions in a row basically the signal is sellers are in control above uh, its zero threshold buyers are in control now they get to extreme oversold extreme overbought conditions we're taking a look at the oversold conditions when you get down to the minus 150 level out here uh, that's where you tend to see bounces or bottoms well yesterday got down to nearly on a closing basis minus 250 not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. So what we're just seeing here right now, a relief rally, counter trend rally at this stage of the game. And it's especially a counter trend rally at this stage of the game with the spot volatility index being above its 50 day exponential moving average. Currently that's priced at uh, 26.72. The spot VIX is priced at 28.44. So well above that level. That's where price would need to uh, the spot picks would need to get below to say, OK, this might be something more than a, a counter trend rally or it's a deeper counter trend rally running up some other areas of resistance out there. So we're just going to take this one step at a time. Those were pieces of information, but there was something. So I ran into a number of different technical issues this morning. Not that you need to know that, but what a bummer when that happens out there. And uh, uh, but but when I got back and I got the system up and running or partially up and running, the thing that I noticed is futures are trading low. The very first thing that I noticed, and I know there's at least one other person in the den, which really means there's many other people in the den out there that also noticed the same thing. Didn't you guys and gals out there? I know you noticed it. I know there's at least one person that noticed it. And what is that? Well, as the and we're taking here, here's our here's our charts for the ES, the NQ, the YM and the Russell 2000. What do you notice about today's action versus, let's say, the action from Monday where we had lows? Actually, in the Russell 2000, it was yesterday made a lower low. You see, what was taking place out here is the ES Mini, the YM, the Russell 2000, each made lower lows. But did the NQ? And the answer is no, it did not. So as soon as I saw that, I said, that is a, it, I don't know if you've ever played poker. Many of you have played poker. I don't know if you have, any of you have ever gone to, to Vegas and played the games, or maybe you're from Europe. I played in the casinos in uh, in London, uh, playing uh, Texas Hold'em. Uh, love that, that game out there. When you're always looking for, you're always watching the players and you're looking for tells. You know, oftentimes you don't play a lot of hands. 
out there typically. I mean, when when it's your turn and the cards are rolling, you know, you play all the hands out there until the until the rally stops, so to speak. But for the most part, you're not playing a lot of hands. So what do you do with that idle time? I always like to observe the players, how they're playing. Um, you know, I don't know what the cards are that they're holding, but I try to, in the way that they're betting, uh, try to uh, imagine what those cards will be. And uh, oftentimes, um, you know, the, the hand will play out and you'll get a chance to see that. So you're looking for little tells. Well, the market gave us a little tell uh, yesterday, uh, this morning. In fact, let me just show you. Let me come back here. We'll come back to this chart here. But if we take a look, it's the exact opposite of the tell right now inside of the Dow. And what is that? Well, we had the e, we had the S and P and the Nasdaq take out prior highs, but the Dow was unable to do that. It's 2020 high out there, 29.568.57. That should have all of us concerned. This is a monthly time frame chart, by the way, that I've got up on my screen, just easier for you to see. So that same tell that we see here in the Dow that moved markets lower, we also have that tell, so to speak. Uh, that uh, is, uh, it was another signal of this rally. That was just a signal. We need more information than just a, a signal out here. But here's what we know from a market profile standpoint. The NQ is above the top or the bottom of its weekly. It's back inside its daily profile. So this 10,726 level is a real key area to watch. If there's going to be more counter trend rally in the other indices out here, you need them to trade above, close above resistance. Well, the ES Mini is the next one up. It's trading right now at 32.5850. The bottom of its weekly profile is 32.59 and a quarter. So it's got um, not that much further to go. But what I want you to focus on today is 32.59 and a quarter. Look, if you're short, the reason to focus on that is I want you to anticipate and expect an additional rally out there. If it closes below that and you're short the S&P 500, well, then that uh, then that uh, well, that bet is off out there. The Dow right now is trading above the bottom of its weekly profile, 26,758, and the Russell 2000s. It's a whole other world on its own out there. Okay, so we've got this, and these are the levels to be watching. There was other information when price was pushing down in pushing further inside the ES, the Dow, the Russell 2000. What we're always looking for are those road momentum indicator signals out there, because that is how that, that creates that little slingshot, so to speak, that counter trend rally, the beginning of a rally, a new rally. And uh, so if we take a look at, so you're looking for that pattern, the road's momentum indicator pattern to form. That would be the best one. Not that uh, TD9 count is a bad one or wave number seven out there is a bad one, but the, the road's momentum indicator signal, that's the beauty. Why is that the beauty? Folks, if you went back and you took a look at every, every major, every bear market decline, every major move lower, you're going to see that pattern present on the daily, the weekly, or the monthly, sometimes on all of those signals out here. So this morning, if we take a look at the NQ on its 30-minute time frame out here, you're going to see two bottom signals. You're going to see wave number seven. That is letter G on my screen. And you're going to see a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Both were confirmed on that same candle as the cash market was opening. That came right here at 10 o'clock. And when it, uh, I'm sorry, 9:30, uh, when we had the uh, nice little uh, piercing candle, bullish reversal signal. Now price is up over all of its opening ranges out here. But I want you to be there. there we should see at least one more push lower during the day. Maybe we see more than that, but one more push lower during the day. I don't believe that that's going to start until. It won't start until between 2 and 2:30 when I'm off the air. Now explain the reasons for that. We get back from this break. Steve Rhodes with TFN. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the 30-minute time frame chart here for the NQ before we went to that break. In, and I uh, had indicated to you that we should anticipate some type of short-term top uh, between 2 and 2.30. Now, the reason is, if we take a look at this 30-minute time frame, uh, the bar that we're currently on uh, completes at uh, 1.30. Um, that's going to generate or should generate bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, assuming that a TD9 count forms, I don't have a guarantee on that, but if it does... Uh, form out here that would form between 2 and 230 out here and it looks like price might be below its last breakdown level 11053 and that's and we can also see that stevie's oscillator and change line has changed from red to green so it's the combination of those things that say we should anticipate another push lower now what should happen out here is price should push back to test stevie's green red line out there if it's a test and rejection that's a bullish test and that would then say okay we had higher from whatever point in time that that test uh, takes place. Maybe it doesn't happen during the cash market year. It doesn't happen until 6, 7 o'clock, and I, I don't really know out there. But that's what you would be anticipating. That's what you would be looking for. So let's go out to uh, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing quite well, Steve. How about yourself? Uh, also doing well. Thanks for asking. And I believe it's the Dow futures that you wanted to take a uh, look at out here. So tell me what you're looking at, how I can help you. Uh, my specific question would be about that and then the ES, uh, and I'm not sure it's necessarily uh, present in the in the NASDAQ and the small caps, but <clears throat> from the top and then kind of watching it, I'll just throw out just kind of some basic numbers or not exact numbers, but on the Dow, it was essentially from Went from the you know twenty nine thousand top down to about twenty seven thousand. Had a retracement of about fifty percent up to say twenty eight thousand. Yeah, and it looked like something around twenty six thousand would complete a you know the AB equals CD. So I'm just wondering if that had completed today, and if if or if it actually made it that far on those two. And you know it looks like we have potentially a, a bullish reversal candle. So that's that was my question about those two. Sure. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a look at it, uh, Brent. Let's uh, okay if we stick with the equity futures contract on this. Yes. 
Yep. Okay, perfect. So so the actual A to B equals CD out here, uh, let's just draw that pattern in so we can see where price is trading into. So the one-to-one -one, uh, price projection, it's just a projection, folks. Uh, price doesn't necessarily have to get all the way down there. It, we just have to make that judgment, um, you know, is it close enough? So the one-to-one -one would be 26,256. The actual low of today in the Dow Equity Futures contract has been 26,407. So, you know, it's a couple hundred, it's 150 points, give or take away. You know, I, I don't know. But what I do know is right now, it's actually not a bullish reversal candle just yet. Maybe at day's end it is, and then it would be a, a piercing candle, perhaps. Maybe it's, well, I don't know how the day's candle will look. But right now, as we speak, at 121, not a bullish reversal signal. So without it being a bullish reversal candle, I would be hard-pressed to call this a, a Gertley uh, buy pattern. Could be. Could give us that signal by the end of the uh, trading session, but not not just yet out here. Still just counter trend uh, rally at the moment based upon some of the other things that we looked at. Now, if in fact the Dow is still able to close, the Dow equity future contract is closing above 26,758 today and the other equity futures contracts the Russell 2000 notwithstanding out there, if the ES Mini uh, gets back inside its range out here, that would be suggesting to us, Brent, that we should expect more rally. Now, more rally to where? In the Dow Equity Future contract, the top, the bottom of its profile or center of its profile, and that's quite a ways away, that's at 27,464 and 27,662. Those would be game out there. And then there's the other level, which is Stevie's Green Line, which is at 27,633 right now. So, if your question is, do I see this as a Gartley buy pattern? I don't see that just yet. If we did get a bullish reversal candle, then it becomes a judgment call. And we have to really start looking at some other, um, you know, what other things are going on out here. What's going on with the advanced decline oscillator? What's going on with the VIX? Anything else that we might see that would help us. Um, so that's what I see when I take a look at that uh, daily chart for the, for the Dow. What questions does that pose for you? Um, based upon I guess that there's some some potential there. I mean, today I guess is bar number five, so it might even yes. be another you know whatever three four days till we actually get what I'm talking about. But it just looks like there might be some potential there for that to form. Is, is was really my question. Sure. So let's take a look at some of those potential levels for folks to be watching out here, yourself included. Uh, if there's going to be a change in trend, so if it's a bottom, if it's a Gartley buy pattern, then one thing that I know is that we will begin to see resistance levels fail in the shorter term time frame charts. This here is a view of the 30 minute time frame chart for the Dow. And uh, where this is headed towards is its breakdown area. And that's at 27,118. Now, this is going to be bar number seven of a TD nine count. So that says we've got an hour and a half, perhaps. Uh, that, that could take us till 1.30. That could take us till 3 o'clock before we get that type of a topping signal and a potential pullback. But my point here, Brent, is if we begin seeing closes above these short-term resistance levels, 27.118, 27.382. Now, I know that that's after the fact. Um, I can't do anything about where resistance resides other than know where it resides and know that if price closes over it, then that's a signal that, hey, maybe this is more than a counter trend rally or maybe it's a counter trend rally taking us to some higher levels out there. So the Dow equity future contract still hasn't taken out its first level of resistance, which is that 30 minute level of 27,118. That's what I would also be watching. OK, no, I really appreciate you just going through it with me and just to look at some of the different numbers as far as support and resistance. And as always, it's very helpful and, and uh, I appreciate it very much. So um, have Brent, a great day and great week, and I'm sure we'll, hopefully we'll talk again soon. That sounds great. Thanks so much for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We had some requests to take a look at some other instruments, so why don't we do that uh, right now? Let's move into that. Uh, one of those instruments was uh, ticker symbol ROCK. And uh, that is Gibraltar Industries. Right now, as we take a look at it and uh, view how it's trading in relationship to its market profiles, we know it's bearish from a daily standpoint, meaning prices below support, bullish from the weekly and bullish from the monthly. So we've got multiple different um, uh, signals out or a couple different signals. We can see a big breakout. Forget about the TD9 count, not to forget about it, but you can see a big wide-ranging bar accelerated volume on August 5th. So price is pulling back into a into a accelerated volume, a breakout area. But let's try to, uh, let me get over to my other charts out here. That would be helpful. And let's just see what else we can find out with Rock out here. So 
looking for signals because the this individual subscriber wants to take a long position in this and i believe that uh that uh, ian was also looking at more of an intermediate term time frame uh, weeks several weeks months and so forth so if we we're looking to try to find some type of a bottom just as brent is you know asking the question hey is there an a to b equals cd to the downside so the a to b equals cd patterns are somewhat subjective out here let's draw one in on this black background chart because you could draw in a couple of them and i'll show you the different ones but we know where the a point starts the a point is going to be out here on august 17th and this is sometimes the frustrating thing for for folks about the a to b equals cd but you you have to realize as the market gives you more information sometimes you have to redraw your patterns there's nothing wrong with that now the most conservative a to b equals cd pattern will look like this the b point out here on august 21st come on populate and the c point out here on august 24th and then yeah we've got a uh, confirmed gertley buy pattern but is that the a to b equals cd pattern that's in play steve roach with tfnm we'll continue looking at the rock when we get back from this break Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, just uh, we're going to go back and take a look at the uh, chart of... Uh, of um, 
rock out here. Uh, but Brent, uh, one of our donors, John in the Tigers Den, uh, notified me that the actual Dow Cash Indice out here uh, has generated the one to one A to B equals CD. So we'll come back later, take a look at the current candle formation. Currently looks like a piercing candle. So that would be your bullish uh, reversal candle to confirm a, a Gartley buy pattern inside the Dow. Of course, it's all dependent upon what the candle looks like at uh, day's end. So, John, thanks for uh, doing that uh, for us out there. So let's go back and take a look at the rock out here and try to assist Ian. So I was showing you an A to B equals CD to the downside. There's another one that we can draw in. Uh, here you can see this, in essence, uh, the 1 to 1.618, A to B equals CD. You've got a nice bullish reversal candle today. You had a hammer candle on September 21st, but it was also a gap to the downside. So both a bearish signal, the gap to the downside is a bearish signal, and a bullish signal with the uh, hammer candle. I always like to fill in the uh, gapped area to say what kind of candle is that that would not qualify as a hammer candle and therefore you know i don't want to necessarily use that as, as, a, as a real total frame of reference another a to b equals cd that could be forming out here it hasn't yet uh because the uh, b point has been taken out but this could be in play out here ian and uh, that's the same a point is what we're going to start out here that's on august 17th the b point is going to be the low of september 8th and the uh, C point is going to be the one on September 18th. And that's really now because of new information. So the first one I drew in for you was based upon the information that was being generated after the August 17th high. But then, okay, what I would do is you could keep that one drawn in there, but you have to recognize there's another one that looks to be forming. This one looks to be the one that is more likely the outcome. Uh, the C point or the B point out here was a day of September 8th, which had 157 a thousand shares and when that was tested back on that hammer gap down candle that was 291,000 shares so price is pushing uh, into that uh, swing point with uh, with some volume out there and this A to B equals CD Ian at either 5389 5634 in that area well um, that would be a nice Gartley buy and that would be coming back to that uh, breakout level and it'd be right in the range of 5535 where you've got the top of the weekly profile. Now, I can't control price and say where price is going to go out here, so that pattern may not happen. Let's put up my other charts. But but that one did just really cover the A to B equals CD pattern out there. And as you get more information, be willing to draw additional patterns out there. Uh, you can see that the breakout area inside of Rock is at 5192 out here. This has a TD9 count top. And so that is, um, so it's got a valid top out here. Price below is Stevie's green line, which is 64.18. That's where any counter trend rally would make its way up to it, then typically reject and move back. If price closed above that, well, then that changes the uh, chart to a bullish uh, type of configuration. Okay, so we don't have anything really clear here on the daily, do we? So how are we going to help out Ian versus confuse him? Well, let's look at the weekly chart. Do we have any information here? Voila, we do. What's that information? Now, I don't have a valid topping pattern. I could draw in an A to B equals CD pattern. I can't on this version of my software, but you can see that in here. But no bearish reversal candle to complete the pattern. When that occurs out here, I, it's sketchy with regard to calling this a completed sell the D point. What we do know is price pulled back. And price on a weekly basis, Ian, is pulled back to support. And that support is 60.93. So the weekly chart is still bullish out here. The daily... Mm, you should expect at least to move up to 64.17 out here. Um, you know, take a shot at it if, if you want. The If you want to wait even longer, see how the market plays out and everything, 51.92 would be your entry into the rock. The other one that you wanted to take a look at, I'll do this a little bit uh, quicker out here, is a sale, S-A-I-L. Here we can see wave number seven, that's letter G. Uh, we can see price trading below Stevie's green line on the daily time frame out here. Again, another real nice gap to the upside. You can see the bulls are defending this territory. You had a hammer candle a couple of days ago, one on Monday, one on Tuesday. So we know that bulls are out here trying to, trying to uh, shore up the bottom. But the better buy for you, Ian, would be a price would get down to 3504 that is the breakout level it's a breakout buy it's not a pattern that i see that's completed if price gets down to that level let's just look at the weekly time frame chart the weekly chart here again very uh, bullish um 
it's, it's, it's bullish. I don't have a valid topping uh, pattern out here. So um, yeah, you could you could fire away, but your better entry point is 3504, and that's one that I'd suggest that you uh, wait for. So I hope that helps y'all both with sale and with uh, rock. Thanks so much for writing in. Uh, we've got a request in the Tiger's Den from John who wants to take a look at uh, IWB. So let's go take a look at IWB. That is the Russell 1000 out here. Uh, so we'll punch that up on our screen. Just take a look at profiles, price below the bottom of its daily profile, 182.57. If you're long or looking to get long, you'd like to see price close above that. On a weekly basis, price has pulled back. It is tested and rejected thus far. The bottom of its daily, uh, weekly profile, 179.99, and it is pulled back to test the top of its monthly profile. Overall, with the exception of the daily chart out here, John, this looks bullish. You got price pulling back to support on the weekly, price pulling back to support on the monthly, and it's held. Looks pretty bullish. Can we find some type of bullish pattern on IWB? I don't know. If we take a look at its A to B equals CD pattern here, just for blanks and giggles, the uh, September 2nd high is going to be your A point. Your B point out here is going to be September 11th, and your C point is going to be the retracement up into September 16th. The one to one gets us down to 175.63. You can see we're not anywhere near that, so... Uh, I wouldn't say that this has completed a, a A to B equals CD pattern at all. Doesn't mean that it hasn't given us some type of short-term bottom out there because of the support levels that have held on the weekly and on the daily. Now, when we turn on the other daily chart out here, gives us additional information. We can see how price broke through one level of support, breakout support, TD9 support, 186.59. Typically, when you break below one level, you go to the next. That's why we go ahead and have those turned on on my screens out here. Well, guess what? Where the next level was, 178.28. I'm just curious. I don't know what today's low is, but we're going to find out here. I think we're going to find out. Well, apparently not with this chart. Let's see, what was today's low? So just curious, 178.29. 178.29 versus 178.28. You got to, folks, there's no human possible way somebody would have chosen that candle as the breakout level. There is no way somebody would, I don't care what skill level you are at, you would have not have chosen that candle where you've got 178.28 as the breakout. This is, you know, I, I know I feel like I'm Paul Revere, Stevie Revere. Uh, I used to play golf, a lot of golf with Steve Revere out there, by the way. But it was a, it was a different Steve Revere. But uh, running through, you know, just, just imploring you, asking you, begging you. I don't really beg out here. Learn this pattern. Learn the pattern to help you identify potential tops and bottoms, but really learn it to understand where breakout and breakdown levels are. So, John, if you're looking to take a long trade here, well, it's you got your back up against the wall. And you'll know that if we see a close below 178.28, then you're probably wrong. And in that case there, because of the A to B equals CD pattern, price probably headed towards that 168.96 area. So that's what we see when we take a look at the daily chart. If we look at the weekly time frame chart here, well, the weekly's got a different picture for us. What's that picture? A valid TD9 top. And price is below Stevie's green line out here. Price doesn't close above 185.53 uh, this week. It's really consolidated between that and 179.99. On a weekly basis, the ideal buy would be about 173.03. But right now, this is suggesting, yeah, counter trend rally underway. Price moves up to about 185.88, the top of its. Uh, oh, could be up. We'll finish that off when we get back from this break. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Now, to finish out that uh, IWB, I want to make sure I gave you the uh, resistance levels out here. So you're still below uh, your resistance level, still right above you, the bottom of that daily profile. So you got 182.57, 185.88, and 190.28 on any continued move higher. You've also got Stevie's green line. Of course, this number is going to change slightly, but right now, so these are going to be your four levels of resistance, 187.29. So best of luck on uh, that if you take a long trade in IWB. Uh, let's go out here, see what other questions that we have that have come in. Um, John writes in and says, so what's the most likely direction of GLD tomorrow? Okay, so uh, not, to, uh, not to put any pressure on Stevie or anything, but tomorrow of all time frames. Um, yeah, I can't do that during the, there's another chart that I would like to do. I'm not going to have the, uh, I'd have to do it during the break. I don't want waste, to waste everybody's time in doing that. So let's go to game plan B. So really what we want to do here, John, is I would be paying attention to the gold contract. So let's do that. Let me to try to answer your question. And, uh, and of course, Duffy wants to know, hey, what's it going to do today? Oh, boy, the pressure, pressure out there. Uh, I love it. So let's go take a look at what it's doing. Which is we'll, we'll, we'll all work through this at the same uh, time, same speed out here. So we take a look at gold. We look at its 30-minute time frame. We know that at 6 o'clock this morning, price made the Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Right? We've seen it at the top. We've seen it at the bottom. We know how powerful it is. Right now, gold has formed a valid TD9 count top, John. So we would expect, well, one of three different outcomes out here. So if this is going to form some type of high, short-term high, it should be the high during this session between 130 and 2. As long as that high does not get closed above, we should see some type of retracement. The retracement would be Stevie's green line. Currently printed at 1868, the top of the profile for the 30-minute basis is 1870.50. So we should anticipate and expect a price to pull back there. John, Duffy, if price pulls back and tests that level, rejects it, and then moves higher, Duffy, because I know you can see the chart, where is price headed to? Where would be the next target? Now, we'll put you on the spot. Like you put me on the spot, but that's okay. 1894.40 would be that number. So it really depends. You're asking me for the rest of the day. Well, we can see that gold making that TD9 count top out here. If that, in fact, we could, we should at least see a stalling of price. Maybe it's sideways. Maybe it's to pull back and test that. Hey, it could be to pull back and blast through 
the oscillator and change line, which if it does, then, John, I would say gold might be headed lower, not higher, or the GLD. But if instead we get that pullback, we test DV's green line, that forms an A to B equals CD to the upside, 1894.40 would be where price would be targeted. Now you're at 1880, and you might say that $14 isn't worth a whole lot. Well, it depends if you're trading the futures contract or not out there. But your resistance level would be 1894. John, if price can close above 1894, we're only looking at a 30 minute time frame. the next level would be 1909. So if price, when price breaks above, closes above resistance, the next level of resistance would come into play out there. So I can give you the numbers, and then you're just gonna have to watch price behavior at these little support areas, support resistance levels, to then answer that question, both for you, Duffy, and for uh, John in uh, Sarasota. So the numbers you're going to want to watch, 1894.40, 1909.20. 20. Those, any price, any closes above those levels, say higher price. What should you expect over the course of the next hour, hour and a half or so? You may see a stalling or a pullback to test that uh, support level out there. And until we get the results of that, Tess, John, and Duffy, I can't really answer any other questions. Not because I can't, but because, actually, because I can't, because I don't have the info. I wish I had the info, but that will give us the info, right? Now, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart here for gold, it looks horrible. It looks horrible everywhere. It looks horrible in terms of how it's trading in relationship to all the other currencies out here. So it's in lockstep, uh, moving lower. Uh, it's taken out the uh, swing point, so to speak, of an A to B equals CD uh, pattern out here. If we take a look at where is gold likely headed to, uh, likely headed to 1831, 10, 1790, 80, just in the short term out here. No bullish reversal candle or anything along those lines, bar number five of a TD nine count pattern. So gold really looks like, yeah, you know, maybe not so much, not just yet. Let it go ahead and get back to a breakout level, 1790, 1831, see what patterns are going on uh, down there. Uh, if you did trade gold or GLD in, in this instance, uh, it, let's say it gives you the signals to move higher. Where's the real resistance on the daily time frame? Well, that would be at one, uh, 1934, 1935, right around there, Stevie's Green Line. That would be a real key level to be watching and to observe. So Duff and uh, John, I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, gold out there. Uh, to answer those types of questions, I think we just really stay honed in on the uh, short-term time frame charts and continue to look for signals out there. Keith writes in. Keith writes in. He says, oh, no questions. Uh, okay. Uh, so I want to say thanks. Really enjoy your show, your thoroughness and patience in answering questions. Well, Keith, you're very, very welcome. And uh, thank you for just taking the time to uh, send that message. You know, with everything that goes on, I, 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 it means a lot. Uh, when you send messages uh, like that and you've actually taken time out of your personal day to send something like that. So thank you very much for doing that. And thanks for uh, supporting all of us here at uh, TFNN. Uh, very uh, much appreciated. I think we do have some other questions. Let's see. Um, oh, Ian, we've got that. John writes in. And uh, oh, he's got another question. Oh, totally cool with me. And uh, is it time to plug? Is if to Oh, if time. Plug up or down. So let's go take a look at the uh, plug out here. PLUG is obviously the uh, ticker symbol and see where it's trading in relationship to those daily, weekly, monthly profiles out here. So it's pulled back and it's tested support, John. 1129, the bottom of its bear structure daily profile. So you're saying up or down. As long and, and volume today is uh, 22 million shares. Last time was price was down in this area about 34 million shares. So it looks like price is coming back on slightly lighter volume out here up or down tomorrow look prices held support of its daily profile so we're going to go with the up for uh tomorrow not down if price closes below 1129 john that's going to change the answer and that would say then it would be headed down now just out of curiosity out here more than just curiosity p l u g we have to see if plug is trading into anything else we uh, we don't want to not take advantage of all the tools that we have out here but the market profile tool is very helpful here, as we take a look at plug on a, a daily time frame, um, no bottoming signal, but the uh, price is also pulled back into a little hammerish candle from back on September 4th. So that would say, OK, we could uh, justify since you've already you already know out here buyers buyers have been trying to protect this area that's trading into. So, yeah, I'd have to say uh, the daily time frame chart you can justify up at this stage of the game. The weekly. Not helping us out a whole lot here because price is trading below 1181. That's really a key number uh, for you, John, in answering that question. If you see a close above 1181 today, well, then that answer because it, it, it increases the probability. Doesn't guarantee 
increases the probability that tomorrow would be an update uh, up day for plug. So I hope that that helps you out, and, uh, and uh, thanks again for writing in. Uh, Craig writes in, oh, you know what? Da, we were in gold. We only have a few minutes left out here, and I promised Robert, who was interested in possibly uh, going short, the uh, gold miners out there, so like the GDX, what was happening there. So we're going to go take a look at the GDX. I'll get all of my charts set up here before we go to this, or while we are at break. Right now we know the GDX trading below the bottom of its daily profile, which is 4006, trading uh, below the center of its bearish structured weekly profile, 4144. That opens the door for 3277. But we'll take a look at our other charts and figure out where would be a good counter trend rally move for Robert to sell the miners. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So as promised, we've got the GDX up on my screen out here. We're going to see that uh, this is completed a one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD. Uh, Robert, you'd start with the high of August 5th as your A point. Your B point is down here on August the 11th, makes about a 0.786 retracement into August 18th. And that gives us a price projection of 37.20. Uh, yesterday's low was uh, 37.35. Today's low, 37.08. You've got a bullish reversal candle right now. This is the piercing candle. We'll put Stevie's other charts out here. So you've got a confirmed Gartley bypass. 
pattern. So where is the next level of resistance? On this chart here, I don't have my TAS market profiles, but you can see it. It's Stevie's green line. And that's it right now, printed at 4087. Robert, that line is going to change as price moves up or down. But around that 4087 area is where you would look at. You'd be looking at the patterns. We'd see what's also going on in gold. But that's where you would look at as one potential area to put on a, a short for the mining equities. You also see so you've got that level, 4087. 4006 is the bottom of the profile. If price can get above that, then 4121 is the next area, and 4236. So the answer to your question is somewhere between 4006 and 4236 with 4087 as we speak right now being the likely candidate for where that would head. So let's see if I can get to Craig's question out here. Craig writes in, he says, uh, can we take a look at AUM? So let's just do this on uh, my uh, white background chart, see if we can get the AUY. Why did I do that? Oh, good. It was AUY. You mount a gold out here. You're in at uh, five bucks. So here's what you don't like. Uh, here's what you do like. Okay, price has gotten back. Above So yesterday was a test of its breakout level, 544. Remember Stevie's two-day rule out there. Well, we don't have a two-day, uh, two bars below 544. You're back above it. And also the oscillator and change line has changed from green to red. What you should see over the coming sessions, I don't know how many sessions, is a test of that line. So that's right now printing to 598. A test and rejection says price heads lower. A test and a close above it says price heads higher. What should price do for the next couple days in AUY? Should continue to head higher as long as you get that um, close above 544 today. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned for two more great hours, and I'll see you on fantastic, fabulous Friday. Have a terrific Thursday.